Whoever you want, Ryan. Mine's probably got better production quality, but Devin's is still good. Go watch Devin's. Because tonight is going to be the greatest night of your life. That's right, boys. Season 3 of BDE is underway, and we have a huge lineup of grand contestants, new faces, and people you will fucking guaranteed hate by the end of this. Welcome, everyone, and get your snacks for BDE. So, do y'all, do y'all actually fight or do y'all just Nah, we're just the announcers, the CPUs dude. fight. We just want to just the announcers. CPUs? These are real guests here, man. What are you talking about? Yeah, these are all of our friends and brother stuff, too. <laughs> I'll be okay. I like how like whenever we throw up the BDE theme song or whatever that I found, we just like switch to like announcer mode, dude. <laughs> Season three is gonna be hype, everyone. Kinda made everything, man. Ask Kinda for anything you need. Turn on the face cam for this? I didn't turn it on for the first two seasons. <laughs> Why would I turn it on for this one? <laughs> turn it on for the first two seasons. Yeah, and actually, I actively use a face cam, and when we do this, I don't use it so the full screen can just be. Like, they don't have face cams in WWE and shit. For the clips and shit. No face cam. You can see us right sitting alongside the ring at the announcer tables, but right in the... Yeah, we're right, we're literally right in there, dude. We're sitting alongside the ring. If you want to see me, you'll catch me fighting. Who knows what the fuck we're going to get at, dude. Is it up, Dev? You fucking, uh, give me something to show the stream, dude. I love how this shit pisses motherfuckers off in real life, dude. Oh, yeah. I, I oh, freaking showed the poster I made, and he's like, I'm not on it! I'm like, dude, I don't have a screenshot of you yet. I need to get one. You know, it's fucking pissed off because you're not the main face like his brother. Is, dude, he's been the champion all season. Yeah, dude. I'm gonna pop this out of here. What up, Panda? 
I was trying to pop out the There's no way this is the best it'll get for watching it on Discord. All right, everyone, welcome, welcome in. As we all get our seats ready, we have a little preview here of the Matla lineup tonight. Big names coming back to BDE from people like Mitch and Dogsby, the dynamic duo, and Texas Steve and Big Dippa. Absolute forces in the chat or in the stream you guys know how they do you guys know how they perform in the ring you guys know that they come out here full force ready to tear shit up yeah these guys they don't these are probably some of our best top tier superstars all in the ring at one time but how do you Trevor, pop he's the... dominated this league before how, right, do you, hold on, what? how do you pop out the uh chat or whatever the stream Oh, right here. Uh, oh my god, that makes everything so much easier, bro. <laughs> go ahead, Dev, go ahead. Although it doesn't get any better. Oh. You know the you know your host. <laughs> yeah. Sorry for the interruption, but Dogsby has been one of our top tier superstars all along. Haven't heard from him in a while. He's been, you know, hard to find, but him and Mitchell together, they've been you know, pretty unstoppable with that tag team championship. That's right, that's right. It's gonna be interesting to see how they, what they bring to the matchup tonight. They've been in relaxation mode for a little too long, I'd say, right, Dev? Yeah, I mean, I'd say so because, you know, they've just been sitting back doing about nothing but playing Destiny. And uh, <laughs> Texas Steve and Dip over here, they've been real uh, pissed off that Trevor and Mitchell are holding the title for their league, they call it. So that's let's right, that's see right. here tonight with the tensions high and the titles on the line, what are, where the pin is going to fall. All right, uh, let's see what I'm, the first match of the, the century is, though. We have here new faces. Yeah, this match is going to be a big one, and that's for sure. That's Here right. We got Ace Maximilian versus Shuvi. Now which we you know that we can't say where they come from or what they've done to get here, but we know that they're big names somewhere out there, and we know that they're gonna show what those big names stand for here tonight. We know that there's growing, there's growing uh tension between tension. these two, and uh, you know they're gonna show it here tonight for sure. Yeah, I think it's a lot of pressure here. Ace is definitely want to get the win on this guy because he's done some pretty bad shit to him. So we're going to see here. FanDuel saying high odds for Ace Maximilian. So we're going to see what happens with that. <laughs> and here we go. There it is. Your two hosts. Us, me. Of course, every single season we got to throw a match in there. And we have a new guy there. It looks like it looks like the Ryan the man, the one and only up and coming Twitch streamer now here to throw down for the belt. It's crazy. Ryan the man just kind of waltzed up into the building tonight and said that he's going to be a superstar and he's going to win a championship. We told him that's not how it works here. You can't just go and fight our champion. You got to earn your way up the rank. So that's me right, and that's Squid right. personally took it on our, upon ourselves to beat this motherfucker into the league. <laughs> he definitely has a big, a big road to climb. He doesn't realize that these two motherfuckers here are heavy hitters in the championship, and Squid the Happy himself has held the title for a long time before losing it. Yeah, I think he even holds the Sleepy Spells championship around his waist right now, apparently. Absolute champion in the ring. Does Ryan, the new face, have what it takes to make his name known around here at BDE Wrestling? Find out tonight, boys. 
I like his little Sintaz shirt. <laughs> came right after work, immediately after work. <laughs> came to throw some fucking do throw down. Oh, and we have here we have Charlotte what? who had her hair shaved by the Ivor. And Ivor and Marble Man in a tag team match. Charlotte, we have her in an interview here. Charlotte, how do you feel about the matchup tonight? I'm gonna get my well, this is you and Marrow Man and Charlotte are teaming up against Ivor here. Oh, no, this, we got to the bag then. Me and Marlboro yeah. are going to win. Because Marlboro, I don't know, the picture doesn't show it, but last I know, Marlboro <laughs> and Charlotte got their heads shaved, so now they're looking to seek revenge here in Season 2. First Why is my head bald? Right. We all know that if Ivor wins, he shaves the loser's head, and he's here to shave her Charlotte's eyebrows if she loses this next one. <laughs> Why is my <I> bald? <laughs> So Charlotte better hope she doesn't lose this match or Ivor will shave her eyebrows off. No, the not my eyebrows. eyebrow is going to take place here later tonight. Charlotte, not my eyebrow. How do you feel about the matchup tonight, Charlotte? Um, I think me and Marvel definitely got this one in the bag. Um, 2v1, I don't care if it looks like he's like a Russian sleeper spy, like he's fine. We're going to whoop his ass. <laughs> Big words from so Charlotte. There you have it, guys. Yeah. Immediately in a chokehold, he's gonna be tapped out. Yeah, we're Huge words. See, is it From might take more no than hair. two men. <laughs> might take more than two dummies to change a light bulb here tonight. Wow. All right, who do we have next here? Oh. Jesus Christ, the fellowship. The fellowship <laughs> of the <laughs> ring here. Is that Frodo and Samwise, or are my eyes deceiving me? Oh, I cannot believe that. That's them. just Grims and Drizzy Josh, dude. <laughs> yeah. Isn't that weird, Al? On the that's way. Aiden and, and John. No, that's, that's David Carr. <laughs> looks like everybody from Esco, or Josh used to wear get Esco, is here in the triple or fa flip flop fatal four way. <laughs> Man, this is going to be crazy. I don't know if they're all going to be going against their boss, Jordan, or. You know what's gonna go on inside this? Who knows? Who knows what they're for themselves? Are they even gonna wear flip flops? Who knows? I guess, guys. Find out later on tonight. Yeah. What time did this start at? I still got a shower. Starting right now. Starting right now, Charlotte. You might want to skip that shower, Stinky. <laughs> you got a match to be in. <laughs> match four. You're on for match four. <laughs> All right, and here we have some political dispute coming up next. What do we have What's here, that? Dev? Cue us over. Oh, yeah. This one here is something yeah. spicy. Let me tell you that. A lot of hostility has been building up between these two <laughs> in the past couple seasons. And I'm just... <laughs> I'm just going to have to let you know here tonight that Kamala Harris showing up by Emily's side is a real disgrace to this company. <laughs> They're absolutely insane. How could she get such support? Kamala Harris trying to win the hearts of everybody by doing everything possible, including uh, showing up to a BDE event to, to back her biggest supporter, Emily, in her one-on-one -on -one match versus Donald J. Trump. And we did tell her, we said, Emily, he's an old man, barely has hair attached. Are you really going to fight him? And she said, fuck Donald Trump. So we'll see tonight how believe, that goes. I can't believe that Donald Are Trump's walking out with Elon Musk. Is, I, isn't that him creeping behind him? That's right, that Elon Musk hiding behind him. You know, making sure that bullets don't fucking fly at him. <laughs> <laughs> Donald said, I can I take a bullet, I can take an Emily. All these candidates in the building, we're not even safe here tonight, dude. No. We need to up our security tenfold. I didn't even see Secret Service. Well, it's a good thing everyone's a fan at BDE. No one's going to ruin this event. That's for damn sure. <laughs> Dev isn't live. And then He'll be live. Our surprise guest. Um, yeah, our surprise guest superstar. Championship belt. What belt is that, Dev? Let us inform us a little bit. That's the BDE championship. Worm currently holds it. That's right. Worm, That's the, the, the greatest champion want. we know. That's the greatest belt you could ever get. And Stoys is going for it, even though he's never fought at BDE. He says it's all rare, brother. It's Boy. all rare and shiny, brother, my fella. That's my fella right. from another brother. We'll see how he does tonight. 
This is gonna line, this is lining up to be a grand spectacle and the first ever debut of season three of BDE Wrestling. Yeah, now grab your popcorn and hold on to your seats because this is gonna be one hell of a wild ride. Alright, let me start my stream up before I forget to. <laughs> Grow the fuck up, Charlotte. Grow the fuck Grow up. Grow the fuck up. What, what the fuck is five mean? ever? I mean, which one's two B and which one's eight? Can't you freaking tell? No. What did you not watch the event? How do you not know who's who here? All right, well let's get right underway, boys. Welcome everyone. Everyone, get your seat, get your popcorn, and get ready Welcome for blood gameplay, and tears boy. to fly. And maybe even a couple eyebrows on tonight's big matchup of the century. Ooh, Charlotte will be looking real ugly if she gets those eyebrows shaved off. That's for damn no, sure. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> Without further ado, boys, we're off to the ring and let's see uh, how everyone's doing tonight. These two contestants are probably going to go in there like some modern warfare, Mortal Kombat style of fighting here. I don't think either one of these two men wants to let the other one walk out of this ring conscious. No, that's for sure not the case. But uh, Shuvi is a lanky little fuck, and no one really likes him anywhere else except on uh, you know where. So we're not going to worry about whether or not he wins or loses. Either way, he's probably going to lose tonight. Yeah, after tonight, I hope I never hear the guy again. <laughs> and there he is. That's our champion right there. That's our man. We want to see Ace make big moves at this company because I think his talent here is needed. We need somebody to come in, stir shit up, and be a menace to society every once in a while. And I think he's the guy to do it. We're definitely glad that he's showing his face around here. We know that he's uh, recently suffered some uh, criminal activity and he doesn't really know how to make his way back to the limelight. So this is his big move to hopefully make it back to the limelight. And yeah, we're giving him a spy here because nobody else will. Free Ace Maximilian will be selling t-shirts on our website. <laughs> he's there inspecting the rain, making sure nobody's uh, gonna backstab him and shoot him in the back with a bunch of paintballs. Yeah, we wouldn't want to see that happen here. We gotta have high alert security in the crowd. A lot of big, hostile environment matchups tonight. A lot of tension, a lot of blood, sweat, and tears are gonna go into the ring. He should have made his helmet, dude. With, like the little green and white. Oh, yeah, that would have been sick. I put one on Shuby, but I didn't think to put one on him at the time. And here comes his uh, opponent here. <laughs> here he comes <laughs> quite the saucy uh music he's got going but there he is this fucking douchebag doesn't even deserve to walk down the highway of our fucking ring but here he is we let him in just so ace can Beat the fucking brakes off this man. We actually had to find him. He was hiding in the back of the uh, ring in a box somewhere. We had to go yeah, look for fucking... him because the motherfucker won't come out to do shit except hide. Yeah, we even gave him a geotag and he kept turning the damn thing off and hiding the whole time. <laughs> I was try just trying to get this shit started. We had to delay the whole fucking thing a day because Shuvi went missing. <laughs> Covered in mud still. Guy hasn't showered in a month. All he had to do was look at the rules when he signed up, and he would know. <laughs> All right, they're looking, they're looking brave. They're looking tough. Will they have what it takes to overcome the other one? And they're off. There's our referee. The bell's <laughs> ringing. Okay, man. Saying hashtag go Shuvi in the chat, but Ace Maximilian with the fucking clothesline to start off the match. Big hits from Ace Maximilian. He's not happy with Shuvi. Absolutely bringing the fucking heat as he bitch smacks him and then goes for a fucking slam. And nails well, the slam. 
we all knew that the matchup would turn in this way, that Ace would just dominate it, because look at Shuvi out there. He looks like a toothpick. Absolute little bitch. We do not like Shuvi around here. If I need to repeat myself again, Charlotte's getting fucking banned. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Shuvi with the knee to the nuts. What a fucking dirty move and a slap. What a dirty bitch. <laughs> His shirt's literally so dirty from hiding in the yeah, fucking we're not, bushes. Yeah, we're not trying to shit. insult him. We're just calling him dirty because that's how he is. He's just really dirty. Yeah. They're going blow for blow here. Ace is asking him to hit him, dude. <laughs> this is nuts. <laughs> The tension they, is rising. The, the, the teams go back and forth. They don't. They don't know when to end. There's no end to it. Oh, oh, oh my oh, God! Oh, oh. But he has a helmet. Can the Ace overcome the helmet? Here. Ace let him wear the helmet to this matchup because he said that's how bad he was gonna beat him. No, he wasn't aiming for the helmet. It looks like he's aiming for, only for the balls here. Took him out. No more children for Shuvi. Thank you for the follow, Jennifer Kane. But no, I don't want to buy anything off of you. So if that's what you're asking, how you're doing for, then that's that's all right. <laughs> I'm back to the match. Onto the ropes. Oh, but Ace big slams him line. down. Should be oh, doing no, his Shuby's monkey attack. Crawling all over him. Some and the beat that he has. <laughs> And the big kick to the back. Will Ace get out of this? Jesus Christ. Shuvi's manhandling him right now. Everybody's put a hashtag free Ace in our chat rooms. Jesus Christ. I can never imagine something like this going. What up, Haley? Ace needs to grow the fuck up here and get the fuck up here and turn the tides of this match. Hey, he's really big words for someone getting arrested right now. It's pretty fucked up. He's just crunching his fingers and jumping on his back. <laughs> These moves are just foul. And it looks like the countdown starting. Ace got, has turned this around because Shuvi is giving him a beat down for his money. Oh my God. That was a dirty maneuver. Yeah, that's right. The, bear, the barefoot slap to the face did not look good. And it not, doesn't end here. Ace is getting his ass whooped needs to turn things around here he's definitely looking in better condition though physically than Shuvi oh there it is nope Shuvi's coming back it, this is looking not good they're off the ring they're beating shit down dude Ace is catching Ace elbows is, Ace is not looking hot he's got him pinned up against those stairs every time he falls down he's falling into steel, steel stairs Oh, but look here! Back Ace into the ring! Control, gaining momentum. Going for the slam! Uh -oh. Five, oh the my five god! Ever, the five ever! Hit him with the five ever, that's crazy! And the countdown starts, I don't think he can recover from a five oh, ever! Oh, Shuvi kicks Barely out. wiggles out of that one, Jesus Christ! I don't know how he kicked out of that, it looks like he hasn't eaten in four days! <laughs> It must have been the smell. Ace couldn't handle it. Had to let go of him. <laughs> the massive rope Getting slam. Shuvi's not some looking mixed good. Controversy from the chat. Some sh cheering for Shuvi. Some cheering for Ace. <laughs> oh my God! Oh, but they should have known. He plays dirty. It. The bear makes. He plays dirty. Oh my God! Shuvi blocks it. Big elbow flies out. Oh man, a lot of back and forth action. A lot of moving parts here. A lot of, a lot of moving parts out there. <laughs> <laughs> He's going for a signature move, the toll, the rope pull. Oh, yeah. A lot of big moves now. look good out there right now for Ace Maximilian. You can hear the crowd cheering, grow the fuck up. Grow the fuck up. Goes for a big slam. Ace needs oh. to make this turn around. He's getting his ass handed to him right now. 
They're both hurt right now, but Ace needs to make this difference between whether or not he can get up and change the momentum of this match or lay down and keep getting his ass beat. No matter what Ace does, no matter how Ace looks, I always have faith in this crazy motherfucker, dude. He will get up and he will beat this man's ass, even if he's taking a whole fucking ass beating himself, and I believe that. Oh, here it goes. Here it goes. Grow the fuck up! There it is! Oh, oh my god, he almost hit him with it! That would have been over right then and there! Crazy seeing these moves for the first time. The son of a bitch! <laughs> <laughs> Big slam from hell, Jesus Christ! He's going back under the ring looking for that bear mace. He's got something he better out than a giant that. shovel. Oh, the oh, Chubby but takes Chubby it counters out of his it again. Come on, Ace! Is this not looking good? He's stunned! Kicks out! Oh, Ace he just started, Charlie. Here. There it is. Ace going for the drag. He's setting up for a big move. Maybe, maybe setting up for the grow the fuck up. That would be really sweet to see one of his moves connect here. He finally gets the shovel back. Oh, and beats the Man, shit out of Got him while he was it. sleeping. Got him while he was sleeping. That's crazy. That's his signature specialty. He can't believe it. He lost. <laughs> there he is. With the Still again. sleeping. Can't get a paintball gun. <laughs> I guess I'll use a shovel then. Absolute animal going for the vest, but he's not wearing it. Oh, a clobber knocker from Shuvi. We know that Ace is out here with pent up hatred for Shuvi. We know that he was that Shuvi was making moves on his girl Thief, and we have to we have to back him on this one because Ace can't lose this shit. Not to Shuvi. Not not again. My Ace will never lose, dude. An easy dodge. And He's setting up for his eyes, right of the crowd. What the, the fuck is Five Ever? Who hate, uh, who hate on Ace are taking the L because Five Ever is forever, and he's showing that right here. Oh, and Shuvi still kicks out. It's super How close. How much more can this man take? For the brink of victory. <laughs> Jesus Christ, it's not, it's, this is personal. This isn't even about the match. It definitely is personal at this point, man. These guys will take it to no limits to fuck each other up. There it is, Ace going for the big hit. Massive slam, oh is he going for the God. shovel again? No, he's going for the, for the setup it looks like. Countered, and the onslaught begins. Can Ace get out of this one? It's a lot Jesus of mixing Christ. up there, dude. A lot of moving parts, like I said earlier. It's not oh looking good for God. Ace. He's hurt. He's not looking good for him. He might be bleeding. Oh, I think that is blood running down his face. Both contestants not looking good here, but Shuvi got the upper hand. Going right for his face. Massive elbows. Constant elbows. Oh! But the big turnaround! Jesus by. Christ! Setting up. Ace Maximilian really giving it his all here. Going for more, going for more slimy maneuvers here. Looking for something under the ring. Hoping it's Bear Mace. It's he a whole ass table. He can last in the wild. He can definitely last it in the ring with Shuvi. Shuvi not, not waiting to find out what Ace is about to bring to the table here. But Ace doesn't give a fuck, setting him up for a massive beatdown right now. Big slam on the metal railing on that table. Jesus Christ. Oh. And then he talks mad shit. Absolute animal. And here's the pin. One. Grow the fuck two, up, Shuvi. Grow the fuck and up, And there bitch. it is. Grow That's the fuck I'm up, Shuvi. Grow the fuck up. 
And here we have it, here your it winner, Ace Maximilian. Absolute animal of a match. That was nuts. Ace really brought what it took to prove himself tonight in the BBE. He might be a grand contestant here in the upcoming matches. Keep an eye on him, guys. I think this is gonna be a big face in our industry. If they don't want him streaming anywhere else, then we'll let him be here on BDE. But don't let that one hold you guys. We're on to the next matchup. It looks like a tag team championship belt match Uh, yeah, do we, got do we have team names here? Team Reop and uh, uh, the the I don't remember, <laughs> but they're the competing for cousins. the Texas Tag Team Tag Tag Team Championship belt here. Here we fucking go. The K Man says, "Well, the K Man, I recognize that name." Let's go, <laughs> let's Grims. go, Welcome let's in. go. Welcome you everyone. You got a match up here tonight, Grims. That's right, that's right, Grims. We're happy to see you ready for your matchup tonight. Here they come, their grand opening. Don't mind the flowers. I love the song. Dippa's song is so good. So good. There it is, the Seltzer Boys. Better have my money. Better have my money. Big Dippa, he's a face of this industry for sure. He's one of the big names one here. Of the big names he's been here. around since season one. I know he got exposed as being the guy who was breaking into everybody's cars and stealing their wallets and shit, but that's the old Dippa, the new Dippa. He's here with Steve. He's American. He's he's everything this country needs. Everything this country needs. Looking phenomenal out there. Let's see what uh Rehab brings to the table here. Wearing the belts, so flaunting them. Tried to interview Riop before this, but they weren't having it. They wanted me to get out of their locker room because they were finishing up a Destiny raid, but they said they're not worried about the matchup later. No. Yeah, definitely did not seem intimidated here tonight. Bringing the energy, really feeling it tonight. Yeah, Riop, they're a big clan, I heard, or whatever. Call of Duty players, or however you want to call it. But here in the wrestling, they hold these belts down, and they've been holding it down just as good as they did on Call of Duty. That's right. That's right. Big uh, menacing force out here. These two guys know how to bring the bring the SmackDown, but not bring the Discord chats. Yeah. Where are you guys at, though? <laughs> there it is. There's our there beautiful belt. Beautiful. Texas Tag Team belt. But you know Texas Steve's trying to get his gr grubby little hands on that. Tag team match set for one fall. <laughs> and is for the All-Star. Our Lions lovely referee Squirrel. announcing everything. Western, the Tag Team Tag Championship. That's right. This is going to be a big championship. At a combined weight of 468 pounds. Goddamn Steve fat asses. Yeah, I wonder why Texas Steve is so mad. And their opponents, at a combined weight of 448 pounds, the All-Star Alliance Squirrels Western, the Tag Team Tag Champions, those guys! <laughs> those guys! <laughs> Just those guys <laughs> over here. Our referee might have forgotten who they are, but it's all right. We know who they are. <laughs> All right, taking the belts. Beautiful there they are champions. on the line Beautiful tonight. Belts. And without further ado, uh, we're right onto the ring. Let's see how they handle it out there, boys. <laughs> Came in says those guys blow. Taking it home to Texas, baby. We'll see how Came in performs tonight because they are fighting for that belt. Big startup by Mitch, giving Texas Steve the beatdown. This is not looking good off the start. They're just trying to slap this shit up and get back to Destiny. I swear to God, they don't <laughs> want it to take too long. Yeah, they're sick of being in the, in the same area as us. They usually don't hang around us this, lo this long for this close to this long. Texas, Texas Steve's not Steve having here. it. Saying that he hates women and putting all that hatred into fighting Mitch. 
Yeah, he's he's a dirty player too. He'll poke you in the eyeballs and steal your wallet with his cousin. That's for sure. Trevor, just watching this happen, I'm sure he's happy. <laughs> Where's Dip? Uh, everybody's asking. Well, Dip is on the sidelines waiting to be tagged in. If Texas Steve can ever get up and manage to do it. Yeah, it's not looking for him. He has to get, it's not looking good for him. He has to get it together and make a switch up here because they're taking turns whooping his fucking ass right now. Yeah, Trevor wanted some action here, but he wants to put it to bed real early. Texas That's right. Steve's still having some energy. Not much. It looks like not after that big flying knee that Trevor just gave him. Yeah, dogs be trying to take his boot off. Been known. But we all know that his what? feet smell way too bad to take those boots off. Yeah, why is he trying to do that? It's gonna stink in here. <laughs> Still trying his hardest to take that boot off, but they are glued on. Tagging Mitchell. The only in. one who ever is obsessed with feet is usually Ryan. I didn't take turn for that kind of guy. <laughs> We're just curious to see what's under those boots. Not Mitchell though, as he goes for the win here, but Texas Steve pulling some cheeky little maneuver there. And the switch up, here we go. Will oh, he tag? He's in Dippa's corner now. <laughs> the corner of hell. Mitchell's not looking good out there as he takes massive knees to the nuts. <laughs> I don't think he's gonna be able to have kids after that one. What do you think? It's not looking good. It's not looking good for his back either. Going for the pin. Can Mitchell get out of this one? Mitchell trying to get away, but Texas Steve giving him the workaround, beating his ass. Like a there we go, and there's Big Dippa, the moment you've yeah, all been waiting for. Bringing the onside off the rip. Here he comes. The and biggest absolute, Dippa is in the room. Absolute animal in the ring. Look at him go. You can hear the crowd roar. Oh, Mitchell. Turning the table on him. What a crazy maneuver that was. Is that even legal? I don't think so, but Dip is going to manage to get the momentum back here on his side. Oh, belly flop and a misses miss. Misses the slam. Misses the slam. And Mitchell making Not a comeback, good. making a turnaround. Oh. Back onto the, in... the corner of hell. Damn. Mitchell's just flopping Dippa around. We don't usually see Dippa getting treated like this. This is not looking good for Dippa. He may have had one too many seltzer. What are they doing? What's going on? Mitchell taking out some frustration on Trevor. <laughs> They're arguing in the ringside. Oh, but give us Dippa enough time to plan out that attack. What a the counter. Slip and slide there. Mitchell not happy with getting Dippa and slid. Turning it around now, but Dippa turning it around him and giving him the fucking smack around. We need to see Dippa bring out that seltzer bomb and put Mitchell away early here. He's getting very surgical with it here. This is looking crazy. Yeah, I'm not sure if he learned this procedure in nurse school, but he's tagging in the doctor to come see what's going on. Oh, oh boot to the head of Texas kick. I can't believe it. What a counter. It's not looking good for Texas Steve. He's hurt. He's really hurt. That boy might not have any more brain cells to lose. <laughs> Showboarding a little bit. What can Mitchell do to get out of this one? Nothing but get his ass I slammed. And then right to Trevor. Oh, my God. What an animal. Texas Steve really knows what he's doing out here in this ring. Being a dirty player, I think him and Dippa would be a good tag team champions. What do you think? I think it's not looking good. Oh, but Trevor saves him in some illegal maneuver. What the fuck was that? Tag is saved with another illegal maneuver. He says if we're playing dirty, we're playing dirty. Texas Steve just claiming self-defense on Trevor even though he's not tagged in because he did get assaulted. <laughs> He says he knows his rights, Squid. I, I don't know. <laughs> he might. He's looking very Texan. Those guys are very political. Oh, Mitchell's bleeding. This is not looking good I'm for Mitchell. Texas blood. Steve hit him. Hit him hard. Texas Steve fucked him up with that last attack. Mitchell's coming back to bring back some of the onslaught onto him. Looks like Trevor, Trevor's coming in. Yeah, Mitchell's not feeling too good. Looks like Trevor's going to have to take the, take the heat for it. 
Uh -oh. Wait, what's this? Mitchell's back in, but they're gonna do the a double maneuver. Jesus damn. Christ, the re-up! The no scope from hell, dude. Barely manages to attack Dippa in just to get Dippa's ass beat. This is not looking good. The oh Destiny my Slam! God. This is why they're the champions. Absolute nuts match tonight, guys. Oh, oh Dippa, Texas Steve hitting him quick. The and what an animal! A lot to see right now, guys. Everyone keep their eyes open. Make sure no one gets killed. God, the seltzer bomb. Dippa letting Texas Steve come in and clean up his mess. Dippa knows Texas Steve is an animal. He, this newfound ability that Texas Steve has discovered where he just starts clawing at everyone's back. What is that? He's a werewolf. Like I said, he plays dirty. He always has. Plays dirty and is a furry. Who knows what the hell he's up to right now? I thought he had a normal character. <laughs> <laughs> the destiny oh. drop. And goes for the pin. Can Dippa save him? Dippa not giving a damn. <laughs> Dippa gets in too late, but he, Texas Steve has enough to kick out himself. Wake up, Dippa. We can hear your TikToks. Wake up, Dippa. Tagging Trevor in again. Mitchell needs a break. He's not feeling good after that head attack. Trevor almost forgot where the fuck he was at. Ran right past him. <laughs> oh. God, Texas Steve turning the tides. It looked going for the pin. A cheeky little maneuver here by uh, Mitchell. Mitchell not going to let it happen. Not like that. Texas Steve looking gas, tagging Dip in. See if Dip can make any changes. Not feeling happy about how the last couple fights went. He's looking to make a difference here. Hitting oh, him in the nuts, the playing dirty. dirty. Low blow. What a slimy competitor. And then on to the ring. Chat onto the saying, corner. Hashtag Dippa wake up. It's oh all looking good. God. Dippa's going God. straight to sleep. Turning Dippa over like he did in pen. season one out here. He's looking good and feeling good, it seems like. Setting up for a big hit. Goes for the goes for the calf thought. He knows he knows that Dippa has really weak calves and gets lots of cramps. You can't be doing that shit to him. Dippa looks like he's dialed in here, but maybe not. Oh. Oh my big god. Slam. The onslaught. I wonder how his back's gonna feel after that one. It's not gonna feel good, Squid. Texas Steve trying to get away, forgot that he shouldn't be in the ring. Too late now, he's part of the fucking fight. Texas Steve don't give a damn, and that's why he's from Dimsdale to the dome. Texas Steve, go for the pin. Nakata, oh. can Mitchell get in, barely gets out. Mitchell, nowhere to be seen. Oh, but it looks, looks like, like he's needed. forcing him into that one. But it's not enough. Dippa just don't give a shit. He's over here sleeping on the rails again. Passed down the middle of war zone. Into the corner of hell. Can Texas Steve make it out of this one? It looks like it's not looking good. He's taking a big hit to the head on that one. Going for the calf shot again. Crowd screaming, where's Dippa? Dippa needs to wake up. He's not bringing the heat like Texas Steve tonight. I you think haven't this you, match, Dippa's going to need a, spot, a shot at that sleepy spells. Not looking good. The turnaround on uh, on Trevor there. He's stealing the beatdown. Texas Steve looking loud and proud here. Oh, Trevor trips him up there. A big bomb. Slam to oh, the knee. Oh, Dippa finally stepping in. Woke up. Dippa's locked in. Dippa's <laughs> dialed. And he's back out of the ring. <laughs> Trevor not happy with that one. Tags Mitchell in before he rips him to fucking shreds. 
And Mitchell's been getting to rest for a bit, but Texas Steve thinks he'll curl him up right here and try it out. <laughs> Mitchell, Mitchell almost kicks. losing the match. Walks over there just to get pinned. He was too busy playing Raid Shadow Legends. <laughs> <laughs> he does play that a lot, it's true. The Texas Steve not in the ring. Itself. Not looking good. Mitchell going for a big slam. What the fuck? I've never seen a maneuver like that. That was crazy. Yeah, using the ring as a weapon. Not many people do that. Oh, Texas Steve is bloody. It's not looking good. It's not looking good. You don't want to get his blood on you. You don't know what you'll get. The referee better get out of the lane before she catches the smoke, oh, too. Oh, close line from Texas there, baby. And going for the pin. Trevor, quick on the fucking breakup. He didn't even get the count on that one. I wonder how long they can keep his momentum up for. They're Looks all like looking Steve pretty tired out there. Uh -oh. oh, what a counter. And he lays the brick right on his nuts. Oh, Lays yeah, he's laying layer. the brick down, but oh, but he's going to cancel it. Cancels it. What an animal. Now, Dip is laying down on him, dude. Dip is just making moves up as he goes. Mitchell barely crawling up. Dip are watching him like a fucking serial killer. And he goes for the murder. But he tags. Tags is Steven. It doesn't seem like Dip wants much action in this match. Mitchell he's getting a quick tag right back in. What is Texas Steve doing? One too many ditty parties. Texas Steve is the enforcer here. <laughs> Going for the pin. Can Trevor save his buddy? It's not looking good. This one's Hell getting yeah, close. Ryan. Very Your close. match is up next. Dip the tag back in. Trevor tag back in. Uh oh! Mitchell's not up. If anyone gets down here, it's not looking good. But Trevor Dipper to buy games on Steam. Jesus Christ! What did he buy? Did anyone see? Second ball. Games. Jesus oh, he Christ! Bought it. He bought it. <laughs> <laughs> umbrella corpse. He just made him buy an umbrella corpse. Ah, damn it, Bigfoot too! Oh my God! The games are piling up here. Not looking good. He's gonna make him spend like a hundred dollars. Someone check Dipper's wallet quick. Someone that check Dipper's wallet quick. Oh Dipper my pissed God, off if we don't play it anymore. Where? When are we playing <laughs> Baldur's Gate? He says. <laughs> <laughs> Dipper all pissed off now. Looks like he's really heating up. We don't even play Baldur's Gate anymore. He keeps screaming. <laughs> oh, and he goes for Mitchell because he has him to buy <laughs> Destiny 2. <laughs> He's dipping over there and pissed that I would have to buy all the damn expansions. B Ray Duelist, he says. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's bringing the action. Duels. Dip is losing his mind out there. He's losing his marbles. It's not looking good. He's about to lose more than that right here. It looks like. Oh, my God. Jesus Christ. He bought another game. Oh, but he's right back up on his feet after that with a big nurse paycheck. <laughs> Going for it again. Oh, my God. They're they buying have the to save him. They have oh to save God. him. They have to save it, but it's not looking good. <laughs> They're making them buy skins too! Look at that! Oh my god! Devastating blows! Devastating blows by Mitchell! Tagging him in. I think Trevor's this, looking to end this right now, right here. This is not looking good for Dippa, man. Oh, but a big punch. Spoke He's too soon because Dippa's going for the pin! Mitchell just not gonna let that happen. They gotta figure out a system here to put these two guys down. At this rate, it looks like no one's gonna lose. Damn! Looks Texas like someone's Steve's gonna lose! got it all figured out here. If he doesn't stop showboating. <laughs> oh! He's never seen so many ladies in the crowd. He can't help, help himself. <laughs> 
Yeah, it's hard to win your Texas Steve. Life, you never know what you're gonna get. <laughs> Oh, Big slam! This might be it. If this Dippa is not looking good. Dippa better here, wake up. Dippa, quit over. watching TikToks. We need you oh, out there. Dippa sleeping. Big Dippa let Oh my God! <laughs> what an intense match! All I can say is, the, is if there's anybody to blame here, it's Big Dippa. Let's be honest. Next time, next time he fights, he has to hide his phone because it looks like he's stuck on TikTok and he's playing it way too loud in the mic. Yeah, we're, we're sick of hearing that shit, Dippa. We can hear it all the way from the announcement table. Turn your phone down. Well, there it is. The bell looks like they Chat don't even lose Dippa it. Dippa needs to retire. Dippa needs to retire. It's looking like a real promising uh, request right about now. He's looking like Joe Biden out there on the sidelines. All right, and on to the next match. This is the one, the highlight match. Ryan trying to make a name for himself. I'll be right back, though. Two seconds. Yeah, me too. Hopefully, I can pee before. Nah, I'll be all right. Seems both commentators have left the booth, so they left it wide open for my ass. Let's go, guys! Let's go! Yeah! This matchup should be great. We got Ryan on the right, Squid on the left, and Happy Wizard. Devin in the middle. Should be a great triple threat matchup. All right, and we're back. All right, I have returned also. Is everyone looking forward to the match? This is the highlight match. Is everyone excited for it? Oh, I definitely am. I can't wait to see Ryan's big premiere here at BDE. That's right, big hope. And there's the wizard, your host, Hippie Wizard Dev. Making his way to the ring. Yeah, this guy is such a douchebag. Always thinking he's the cool hot shot of the fucking wrestling industry with that stupid little hat and that stupid green jacket. Try to always be so like his bright little and catch everybody's eye. Yeah, I do like his little staff. staff. I'm not gonna lie. I'm afraid he might catch a spell on me if I keep talking shit. If y'all want to get spells caught on you, definitely head on over to Kick and uh, look him up. Yeah, I don't know if I'm into all that voodoo and juju and the skippity bebop and shit. All right, and who's our next opponent here? Let's see what we got here, guys. Devin likes to fucking walk for 45 minutes, that motherfucker. <laughs> oh, here oh, he is. In, oh, jeez, who could this be? First. The man of the hour. Man, the myth, the legend. What does that say? Is that everyone the sleeping on the belt? Champion, the squad. Hillbilly. <laughs> <laughs> the squad yeah, hillbilly. Is one of our, uh, major faces of the industry here. That's right. That's the right. Fan favorite, Squid the Happy. He is making his way to the ring. Made it, did it a lot faster. Looking a little saucy, but that's all right. That's how Squid rolls. Yeah, it looks like Hippie Wizard's been smoking on some kind of pen or something before. He was real slow and sleepy out to the ring. Maybe he should be the one holding that championship instead. Well, maybe he should get out there and do some fucking work and actually win the match for once. <laughs> 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 and here it is, guys. Our newest, our newest member of BDE, the it, Ryan, the man. 
He's definitely a face that we all know and love. He's looking a little saucy. Definitely, definitely doing some SIMP. Uh, I'm glad he showed up in the Sintas outfit right from <laughs> work. Immediately from work. Looking like he's ready to fuck some shit up and clean some clothes. Why is he so saucy though? That's just how Ryan is. You know, you know he's a fucking little goofy, silly guy. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely very flexible. He's going to be a force to be reckoned with out here at the ring tonight. Very knowledgeable of all the moves. And he knows exactly what to do out there to kick some ass. And look at that beautiful beard he's got. He's definitely used some beard butter in it. You can tell that for sure. All right, and they're off. Just to just to remind you guys, me and Dev are not playing any of the characters. These are all just, you know, real competitors out there fighting to prove their name tonight. Squid going yeah, for the point like loco immediately on Ryan, then getting that's what dead I was gonna the smoke. Say. That was crazy, dude. He went right for Ryan with the Pollo Loco. He's got sick of Ryan saying fuck you, Jorge, so many times, I think. Fuck you, Jorge. <laughs> <laughs> Dev going for the switch uh -oh. up, trying to get that belt, but doesn't realize that Squid isn't even wearing it. Ryan. Oh, but Hippie Wizard reverses it. Proving his name, trying to show that he can win a match out there once in a while. <laughs> Maybe Ryan's not. Got a lot as he of work. Face plants that whole fucking corner. Ryan's got a lot of work to move his way up the ranks in this place. That's right. He has. He's fighting against some of the biggest names in BDE wrestling. Yeah, if he can, if he can take us down, then he can take anybody down because I think we're the strongest motherfuckers out there. One of them's got a belt. Oh, Damn, getting got kicked me. in the back. Dirtiest fuck move by Squid. I'm and it's Squid out to dry there. Flipping Ryan like he's a pizza. Ryan waking up, realizing that we're talking about BDE and not talking about JR. Here he is now. I think he went outside ringside to see if JR was here. <laughs> Wrong <laughs> event, Ryan. Sorry, bud. <laughs> Ryan t going off on his own rant, not knowing what we're talking about. Slams with the happy down. And here it is, they're throwing down. This is looking absolutely <laughs> insane right here. The big chokes, choke oh. out on Dev. Ryan taking all that aggression from me, taking away his at everyone privileges. <laughs> well, maybe that motherfucker should chill out at adding everyone. <laughs> <laughs> giving squid the smoke for talking shit and then getting slammed immediately by dev who goes for the pin devin trying to pin ryan the rookie here trying thinking it would be an easy pin but he kicks out yeah little do we are we're underestimating ryan here we know that ryan brings the smoke we know that he has a lot of knowledge out here about wrestling uh we don't know what he's doing right now out there maybe he's taking care of some bed bugs <laughs> I think he put in a long day's work at Sintas. He's trying to buy another game that he'll play for five minutes and never touch again. <laughs> Keeps asking Squid if Death Face is good. Squid hey says, guys, everybody, who gives I need you to know that Ryan got Dead Space too. <laughs> in case y'all didn't realize, because he said he told us like four times. There it is. Ryan's putting on that little girly voice accent he does. Hamily. But it's not enough to take Squid down. <laughs> Squid going for going for Ryan. Telling him that wrestling oh sucks God. and he can do better. But Ryan, Ryan fucking slamming it. his ass to the ground. Devin didn't like to see that. He's going to go and bear hug Ryan. <laughs> but Squid not liking, break the, it up. not liking the way this is going. Squid going after... Uh, a hippie wizard dev. There's a lot of tension here. Good and dev beefing. They're even threatening to put diss tracks out up against each other. <laughs> they do that <laughs> probably on a monthly basis. <laughs> you know, before the match, I heard Squid and Hippie Wizard say that they're not even friends. They only act like friends live on stream. That's right. It's all just one big ploy. 
squid the happy jumping at literally nothing. The motherfuckers jumping G Willikers out here. <laughs> oh, but it looks like the frog hops got spun around there. Oh, and Ryan going for both contestants here. Oh, Who gave that man a weapon? Ryan's got a weapon in the in the ring. He's beating everyone's oh, ass. Oh my God! Oh, Jesus my God. Christ! Ryan's, Ryan's, Ryan's killing everyone. The shit out of everyone here. What the crowd an is going crazy. Devin reversing Ryan outside the ring. They need to get a gain on things. Oh, that's it. They're double teaming Ryan. They had enough of his shit. I don't know if the double team will be for long. Squid takes a swing and a miss at the <laughs> <Andy> Wizard Devin. <laughs> <laughs> Couldn't let Ryan pin him. Goes for Ryan. Big slam on Ryan's face. Ryan kicks out. Squid going for the weapon. Oh, Squid throwing the weapon. Go ahead, giving him a That's piece crazy. of a dozen. Oh, Dev switching it around. It. You reversed There's it. There's a fucking animal out there. He's That's son of a nuts. bitch. <laughs> oh my god, he's throwing up a stream and <laughs> forgetting that he never was showing the screen. <laughs> <laughs> Squid and Dev going at it, but Dev's not letting them do it. Ryan coming in to back up Dev. Oh my god, he's dropping another shitty song on SoundCloud! Oh my god! <laughs> Squid going for Dev. For Ryan. Dev's gotta get this figured out, because he's getting his ass beat by Squid. Ryan not looking so good. Says he's going to sleep early, guys, and we kept telling him to stay up. And it looks like Squid's gonna claim this one. Dev kicks out Ryan, uh, going for Squid. And this is just an onslaught. They go from one to another to the next guy. It's like rock, paper, scissors out there. This is for absolutely real. nuts. Squid getting the crowd all pumped up. Going for the point Begging for subscriptions. Somebody subscribe, please! <laughs> <laughs> Goes for the double kick and fucks his own backup. Ryan doing the breakdance move from the Australian uh, Olympics. You know, it's almost getting past Hippie Wizard Dev's bedtime. I'm not sure if he's gonna make it much longer. It looks like he's sleeping outside the ring. <laughs> Ryan saying, all right, guys, and everyone else getting riled up over the fact that he said that. <laughs> <laughs> Ryan what is, is he doing? Dancing what around like a clown. Devin's had enough of that bullshit. He tried to put an end to it. <laughs> Ryan hitting, hitting Squid with some more f f f fuck you, Jorge. <laughs> Squid and the wizard going back and forth. Well, again, Squid taking the upper hand. The audience can't oh. forget that they're not friends unless they're streaming together. Ryan quick to break it up. He doesn't want to lose his shot at fame and glory at BDE. Well, it's not looking good for him. He shouldn't have shown his face around these parts. Cause Squid giving him the run for his money, but Ryan whooping his ass. Ryan, trying to get me to play Gary's Mod for the 100th time <laughs> in 2024. <laughs> but unfortunately, we're not playing Uncharted. Sorry, Ryan. It's, it's not going to happen. It's just not going to happen. We're going straight to beating your ass. <laughs> I'm all dazed and confused outside the ring. And Squid and Ryan are just giving it to each other in there. What's he doing? El Pollo Loco! Oh my god, that El Pollo Loco is something like we've never seen before. Squid really showing out for Christ. season three. Oh my god. Wizard steps on his ankle to get it to stop. How did he know that Squid has weak ankles? That's fucked up. At least you don't got bunions like Charlotte. <laughs> Ryan better hurry up and get up because it's not looking good for Dev. 
Slams on Dev's face and it looks like Squid felt bad for that and let him go. Oh, Ryan putting the punishment on Squid. Absolute animal. What's he doing? Big slam on Squid, but it hurts him. Oh, Hippie Wizard going to take whoever had the upper hand there. But Ryan turns it around quick, quick, quickly. And now Ryan rolling out of the ring. Squid pissed off. a baseball bat. Damn it, Squid! squid. Oh, oh, the massive the hit! Squid's the crowd. fucked up! Squid trying to sell the crowd a subscription to Jesus his channel. Oh, it's got guys, another weapon! Oh, my it's not looking crazy. good, it's not looking good! This is looking like a highlight clip! I'm swinging at nothing over there. <laughs> Well, it's hard to announce and fight at the same time. <laughs> well, that is true, but we are something different. We are amazing, and we can always do anything. That's the model we go by. Ryan, not liking that we said that. Beating your ass for that. Squid going right for the retaliation. Oh, fuck Ryan. He's a little motherfucking bitch. I'm going to win this match, <laughs> and I don't think Ryan has anything he can say about it because he's not allowed at ringside. <laughs> Squid taking the chair to Ryan's back. Sick of his shit. Jesus Christ. Dev trying to save Ryan, but gets us, catches the fucking smoke himself, and then Squid hits himself with the chair. What the Man, fuck? This shit is nuts. It could be really anybody's match still. Lord only fucking knows what's gonna happen here. It looks like Ryan's gonna show you what's gonna happen here as he beats your ass. And then gets grabbed and the going ahead. Oh, the flying El Pollo Loco from Squid. Ryan getting up pretty quick though. Looks like he's definitely trying, trying to prove himself out there for tonight's BDE event. Dab now looking good. Needs to get out of the ring. He's fucked up. But Ryan giving Squid the workaround while Dev tries to recover. Get because it, the person's having a conversation. He might have Squid here. It's not looking good for the ex champions. It looks like they gotta make way for the new <laughs> champion. Oh, oh my god! god. Unbelievable! Oh my god! Squid was laying there all limp, and Ryan's taking over the industry. Jesus Christ! There it is, Ryan proving himself to be. A contender in the BDE event, winning his first Holy match. Shit. Yeah, he's definitely moving up the ladder with that one. He might even get a promotion at Sintas after this. What a fucking animal. Just goes to show, you know, you put a motherfucker in his element and he, he shines. Nobody else here wrestles or watches wrestling. <laughs> Ryan knows all the moves and shit. If anything, Ryan's cheating. Without further ado, boys, we're on to the next event. And we did get a submission by Ivor for his own entrance music. So I'll be playing that for you guys here in a moment. I don't know if this match is fucked up, but it's supposed to be Charlotte and Marlboro versus Ivor. And it's showing that it's the other one. It's dip flip flop. <laughs> it looks like Marvel Man got sick of Charlotte's shit for not cleaning her room and switched up on the teams. Yeah, Marvel Man must have got pissed at Charlotte for something because now this matchup is looking not good for her. Definitely not is. in Charlotte's favor here. If the game is glitching the way it's showing. We'll see. <laughs> there she is. Charlotte Flair. She is the absolute problem. Yeah, it's her. Making his way to the ring. Her, hair's, ever. her hair still hasn't grown Nightmare. back from when it got shaved like a year ago. <laughs> she might look like John Cena on a little skinny body, but that's Charlotte, we swear. <laughs> we swear to God, it's not a man. <laughs> Common W from Ryan. Damn, Ryan's a fan favorite now. That was crazy, Ryan. There she is, showboating, ready to get her hair back and not lose her eyebrows. 
But without He's further ado, shit about something. The menace. It's a the animal. Again, again and again. Again. <laughs> it's just Marvel, man. Yeah. Damn Wait, it's just Marvel, man. Never mind. Cool. He's looking Good. all fired up wow. here, like we asked him to buy another game that he didn't want to. <laughs> Payday 2 has more players than Payday 3. <laughs> Think of us buying all the shitty games, god damn it. You know, when Marvel walked into the building today, I almost thought that it was RFK when I turned around, but you know, he didn't end up making it for the presidential uh, debate later tonight. There we have Jinxie in the crowd right there, the corner there. Oh yeah, I see him, he looks so excited to see his <laughs> Marvel man. <laughs> didn't know he was a big fan, but there he is. Well, Marvel Man is a hell of a fucking guy, dude. He's even got those freaking uh, little uh, soundboard effects after him. And here he is. The one you've all been waiting for. He has his shaver ready. He said he bought a whole new kit. Oh, oh looks like the Jones match is right, though. Berhoof, va, ya, pierdole, bo. But Barbara man has hair, yep. that's a little fucked Sean up. Is gay hair grows back Bo faster than Charlotte. Look at that motherfucker guy is menacing! Yeah. Absolute yeah. animal! Yeah. It's cool. Yo, you know, shut it up, scares me every Nobody time I see his name pop up in your chat. That's how terrified I've been since I've seen his onslaught here at Speedy Wrestling. I don't want my head shaved, that's for damn sure. That's why I stay out of the ring with this man. We're definitely not going to be fighting Ivor anytime soon. My hair is too beautiful. Thank you for the follow the wolf, 98. Sean is vision. Bo, Berku, Va. Yeah, Pierre That's right, Bobber Kurva, there he is! Berhu. The animal! Ba. Yep, Sean is Vegem. Polish monster. Berhu, Va. Yeah, Pierre Dole. Charlotte earlier said he looks like a Russian spy op, or psy op, but that won't matter because her and Marlboro are going to take him on together. Oh, I guess actually, oh no, okay, we're good. There he is. Match is looking Iver real says fucked no up one though. is safe. Everyone is looking for the smoke and they're all going to catch it. You know, two people should be able to uh, take on one guy, but in this case, I'm not really sure. That's right. Iver, he did have a rough bring up. Didn't, ha didn't have what it took in the very beginning, but at near the end of season two, he definitely began to show his true colors. Which, I mean, I get any superstar coming into this big of an audience is going to have the beginner shakes, but this monster, I didn't think it would be like that for him. Giving them the worker on Irish, proving that he's not intimidating, but Marrow Man, having carried so many damn kids and making so many ants in a log, knows how to pick a motherfucker up and carry him. Well, Marrow Man probably can carry three bundles of shingles up the ladder at age 50, so <laughs> you know that this man is definitely a fucking roofing legend. He's definitely got what it takes to whoop Ivor's ass. Not sure if I can see the same for Charlotte, though, but she's proven herself tonight. Vicious you know, fucking takes, animal that she is. It takes big balls to get into the ring with this guy, and we know Charlotte doesn't have him, but Marlboro Man currently probably does. He wears a Penguins jersey around downtown <laughs> Detroit where Red Wings fans would fucking get pissed off about that kind of shit. <laughs> he's not really worried about Red Wings fans, and he's not worried about Ivor here as he throws a quick kick into his face. Charlotte's bald head he smacked Ivor up. <laughs> it was enough to take him out. Looks like he hit his kneecap on something. Charlotte playing dirty, dirty, knows that she wants to keep her eyebrows, does not want to have to shave them off. So she's doing everything she can. <laughs> Charlotte's going to have to win a lot of matches here to grow her hair back in season three at all. She doesn't want to go out bald at the end of this show. Yeah, she said, fuck the belt. Just give me my hair. We'll see how that goes after this match. See if we, we have, can offer a wig have, or something. Guest appearance, Greg Poo. Greg Poo, how do you feel about uh, this matchup tonight? How do you think your sister and your dad are going to do out here against the Polish monster? Greg Poo's at a loss for words. Too scared to talk about it. No, there she is. Greg Poo, go ahead. What up, Greg? What one, Char? 
The bald one. Why is she bald? She had her hair season. shaved by Ivor last season. Yeah, last season Ivor shaved her, her Marlboro Man's head after What's up, Boogie? What's up, Andrew? One. So now they're teaming up on him. Marlboro Man's hair grew back, and Charlotte has to earn hers back. That's it? That's all you gotta oh, say, Greg? Is you're wondering who the hell Charlotte is? Can't even recognize her own sister anymore. I think that Charlotte's gonna fuck him up. There we go. Inspirational words. But it isn't looking good from bald-ass Charlotte. Well, the odds are in their favor for a two-on-one. But like I said, the size of Ivor is like equals to both of them. So basically, it's a one-on-one, -on -one, which in that case, the odds are fair. <laughs> That's right, Ivor definitely packed on some fucking muscle for this one, hoping to have enough to bring to take everyone's hair tonight. You know, if he wins a two-on-one somehow, well, I'm gonna have to ask for a drug test. Hopefully he studied. <laughs> his fucking his arms are looking like he's done a cycle of steroids every week. Doesn't seem like looking it's like much for Marvel, man. He's out here uh, talking about how he's only gonna play Diablo for the next three years. <laughs> yeah, and he's all pissed off because nobody's been on it for three days so he's really taking his aggression out in the ring Charlotte lifting that massive man up just to beat his ass absolute fucking animal she's like part squirrel or something I, I don't think Ivor can keep it together out there with how much Charlotte's begging for Starbucks <laughs> Marvel man, sick of Ivor's shit. All he wants to do is go and look at his Blue Jays. <laughs> Marvel man said if they can get this win tonight, that he'd give Charlotte gas money to get to work. It's looking promising. Charlotte might have a full tank after this one because Ivor is getting his fucking ass whooped by the tag team duo. Did I win or I was in the tower. Charlotte, you're in the ring right now. What you're are you doing right on the now, call? Charlotte, get back out there, Charlotte. <laughs> Marvel man, taking Ivor up on the top ropes. Jesus oh my Christ, God. Ivor, not oh, even This happen. isn't looking good for Marvel Man. Oh That's my God, knees. Marvel Man's fucked. Good thing you're wearing leg protection. Skin can't handle that shit. Charlotte couldn't ha couldn't handle watching that. Tries to fight him back, but Ivor beats her ass as well. It's not over for Ivor though. Charlotte going back in for round two, ready to beat his ass this time. She goes right in for it, but Ivor not letting that shit slide, gives her a beatdown of her life. You gotta think here. Ivor took Charlotte's most precious possession, her hair. So she wants to take out all of her aggression on him here tonight. Ivor doesn't give a damn. We've never seen his face under that mask. And we've never heard him speak a lick of shit. Yeah, he never speaks. He never shows himself. For all we know, he could be a girl. He does say that he is. Maybe he still is. <laughs> Uh-oh. Charlotte breaking up I Ivor's post pierogi slam. <laughs> <laughs> the Baba Kurva! Uh -oh. The Baba Kurva! Jesus <laughs> Christ, dude! It's not looking good. He's definitely har harnessing the power of the bobber, which means beaver, by the way, if everyone's asking. It looks like Charlotte's getting the pierogi slam. The oh pierogi slam on Charlotte. Is she alive? Jesus Christ. Big hit on the face. Ivor needs to recover. He's going for the pin. Marber man holding him down like he's holding a roof up. Oh, he knows how to, he knows how to do that. Uh oh. The crowd wants blood. The crowd wants blood. They're all asking for a baseball bat. Kicks out. And here it is. Marlboro Man about to get slammed. He knows his back is weak. If he eats the slam, he's not gonna. Oh my God, Marlboro Man! Someone check on him. He just had surgery. He needs another cigarette. He needs a smoke break. 
<laughs> He's taking a smoke break right there on the ground. Must have been 9.30. <laughs> Not quite as Marvel gets back out here. Dodge is Charlotte's shit. Must have found the mute button, because that's all we always do for Charlotte. Mara man getting slammed again, right on his bad knees. But Charlotte pulled out some crazy flying knee attack. What is she doing? We've never seen moves like this from her. She's really stepping it up here in season three. It seems like all the superstars really want to make a big name for themselves. Charlotte going for the Bunyan Buster. No, not the Bunyan Buster. <laughs> there she is, going for the Bunyan Buster. Jesus Christ, can I ever get out of it? Looks like Ivor turns it around there. That would have been devastating. Oh my god, Ivor clean in house right now. Oh. It's, he's it's hiding and it's not looking good. And Marvel Man tells him to shut the fuck up as he slams him. And now Ivor's <laughs> bleeding. Marvel Man's bitching about payday 2 again. Can't believe we made him buy it. Looks like Ivor's choking out Charlotte. Charlotte's barely making it out of this one alive. Big slam by Marlboro Man. Charlotte has a chair. Oh, just wanted to move it out of the way. Said it was a little too dangerous to be sitting over there. She would be bitching about something, wouldn't she? And there it is, the big slam on fucking Ivor. Ivor needs to wake up and get smell the roses because it's not looking good for him out here. Yeah, they're hitting him with the father-daughter dance moves out here. <laughs> 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 oh my god, a lot of back and forth action. As soon as Ivor gets the upper Ivor hand, can't one of the two it. gets him back. It's not looking good for Ivor. It looks like he's suffering radiation poisoning. Yeah, probably being from right over there by fucking all that crazy nuclear bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> Getting his ass beat. Needs to wake up from the radiation poisoning. We're sick of seeing his third arm. <laughs> oh my Jesus God. Christ, one Ivor big kick to kill shit, them all. A brick shit house. A shit brick house. <laughs> and there it is. Mauro Man going for the, for the pole slam. It's not looking good. Ivor's taking a lot of hits to his face in this one. Oh, it's about to go up in smoke here. Marvel Man. Oh my god. I don't know how much more I can And there it is the thing shit. everyone's been asking for the baseball bat, but Charlotte doesn't even use it. Charlotte just brings it out to taunt the fans because she always hates going for the up pin. The show. I can't believe it. I need to wake up. No. If the people want it, Charlotte doesn't give it. <laughs> She's the problem, not the solution. Marvel Man says, I'll show you how to do it because you're fucking it all up, Charlotte. And wins the Marvel match. Man. Absolute beatdown on Ivor. Looks like the father daughter daughter duo put Ivor to shame here. Looks like she gets to keep her eyebrows for one more day. Yeah, they better watch out because now Ivor's for sure pissed. You got to beat Ivor in a one-on-one -on -one for your hair back. Oh, hell no. <laughs> She's going to get fucked up. <laughs> I don't want to be one. We should have had some backstage shit with, uh, with Ivor and Charlotte after this one. <laughs> My old man looks so happy there. <laughs> <laughs> And here it is, the flip-flop Fatal 4-Way. This is going to be an absolute animal of a match. We got fucking Steve Irwin dressed like Sam Wise. And we got uh, Coyote Peterson. <laughs> That's freaking it. That's Aiden and Josh. 
<laughs> it's like, Jordan and David. Like they're up against Jordan and David. This is going to be nuts. <laughs> Flip flop, fatal four way extreme rules event. The rules are you got to be the first one. Or I think the first one, or maybe it's elimination, but it's first blood, so you can't be pinned. You gotta bleed to lose. I think it's first one who bleeds, who makes somebody bleed, wins. And the only thing under the ring are flip flops. It's a fatal four way extreme. There it is, Frodo Aiden. Aiden Frodo Aiden making his way. The corporate ministry from New York. Weighing in at 210 pounds. Ready to throw down. Will lead. he get the ring to Mordor and make it to work <laughs> in the morning? That's what we're wondering. He has been tasked by this uh, to do this by the great Gandalf, by the great hippie wizard Dev. He has to figure out what to do next and figure out where Mordor even is. He's fucking lost. I sent out all my minions to go defeat Sauron so I can kick back, put my feet up, and just chill. Smoke my pipe! You know, in the show, Tom Bombadil tells Gandalf that he has to be the one to defeat Sauron, but he makes freaking Frodo Baggins do it! From New yeah, that's right! And here it is! Steve Irwin Wise coming out here tonight to throw it down! Yeah. Josh Wise Gamgee over here is really <laughs> looking like a superstar up, who could put some work in at this company. These two hobbits are barefoot walking to the ring, showing a confidence that nobody else would have to make it all the way to Mount Doom, uh, past all the orcs and all the deadly things by themselves. But well, we know that if they prove themselves tonight as new faces here, that they are definitely going to get that ring to wherever the fuck it has to go. And they do have some opposition here tonight because uh, Jordan is making his way out tonight to tear them the fuck up. And Jordan just kicked it up. It's so holy shit. No, I'm just kidding. He didn't. He's not here. Jordan Carl making his way out to the ring. He is my top gifter, though. There he is. He asked us a little bit ago if he wanted to see him slam three beers. And we said, get the fuck out there and fight. Yeah, he just did three beer bongs before he came out here. Because <laughs> us telling him, get the fuck out of here, didn't work. He just started slamming him. <laughs> this motherfucker just never gives a shit. He is the man. He is Jordan Carl himself. And he said he wants to be the one to rip the title out of Worm's hands. And he doesn't want Stoisy to do it tonight. That's right. That's right. We'll see if he... uh is enough to do the title match against whoever's holding it after tonight's event. Over at BDE, Monday Night Raw, Wrestling Maximum <laughs> Omega 3. We gotta make a money in the bank and put the ring on it. And have a Damn, <laughs> that would be dumb. New York. <laughs> that would be dumb. So there you can he is. turn in the ring for a title David. shot. The original animal, the, the Charlotte's mentor on the wrestling match, the yeah. David Cobb. New video coming soon. The rise and fall of David Cobb's streaming career. Because we don't know when the fuck was his last stream even to be. <laughs> If you see him go live, don't even bother watching because he's just milking you guys for your Twitch Primes. Maybe if we're lucky, we'll get another uh, two-day Marvel stream marathon and then he'll be gone for good again. <laughs> David Codd's the, like the streamer who he, he comes out to see his shadow and tell you if it's going to be six more weeks of winter <laughs> or if it's spring. <laughs> David the Ground Hot Cod, they call him. <laughs> Ground Dogs Day, David Cat. <laughs> <laughs> Here they are tonight to stop the Fellowship from completing their task of defeating Sauron. Jordan doesn't give a fuck. He just wants to get back out there and beat uh, Worm's ass for the belt. Well, you know they say Sauron has many spies with many eyes. So Jordan and David could definitely be henchmen of his, and that's for damn sure. We got to watch our backs. We well, do you know that he's looking for uh, skilled Minecraft players to uh, defend his shitty house. And he goes flying off the fucking ring. 
Well, we know Aiden's house burned down, so he might be angry and taking some of that anger out about his house right now. Well, everyone's definitely angry at David Codd for not showing his fucking face at anybody ever again. <laughs> Here they are, throwing it down. Jordan giving Frodo a run for his fucking money. It's not looking good. David. Aiden is fucked. <laughs> David Codd bragging about how many times he beat Minecraft, and it's really pissing Jordan off. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. Looks like the hobbits are fighting each other out here. They're fighting over the last potato. <laughs> Potatoes, we keep saying. Boil them, mash them, put them in a stew. <laughs> Jordan says shut the fuck up and let him stand up here already. Jordan fucking fuck. He's fighting the hobbits over here. You know that he really hates Lord of the Rings and he's more of a Harry Potter guy. David running over here. Scared someone's going to steal his kill. <laughs> and Lord forbid take his character in any game. <laughs> oh, he jumps out of the ring and slams his back. Guess he's going to play solo. <laughs> 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 Holy shit! The amount Jordan of Jordan Carr really, really have, fucking David up Carr. our entertainment system here. He's sick of our shit. David and Jordan having a nice little chat before Sam Wise comes to beat his ass. Frodo over here. It looks like somebody made David Cod call Worm again, and David's pissed and looking for it. Oh, David getting slammed by Aiden. You don't want to make him use the ring. Sam Wise trying to his best not to kill Gandalf. I mean, uh, what's the guy's name again? Golem. Golem. <laughs> They're getting David Codd confused for Golem out there. And there oh it is. my god. The flip flop fatal four way. It looks like he has the flip flop and he's throwing it at David Codd. I don't know what they're gonna do with those. What are they called in Spanish? Chonclas? <laughs> yeah, chonclas. <laughs> chonclas are flying around here. <laughs> don't get that word going. We might get another contestant coming in here soon. Uh, Eddie, <laughs> fighting yeah, for uh, Emma's heart soon. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Eddie really wants to make his way up in the industry. We're gonna give him a shot. Whether he's legal or not. <laughs> Legally allowed to fight in the uh, competition, of course. We have everybody yeah. sign a legal waiver. Yeah, because he's only 18 years old, so we're going to have to get his parents' consent. And there it is, the double slam. Jordan pissed off at Frodo for fucking slamming something that wasn't a beer. Baggins getting slammed down. David Codd, sick of that shit. Ends it, says he's the best at this fucking game, no matter what it oh, is. Oh, I thought he was going to give him a noogie. Jordan saying, bitch, get back to fucking work. I'm in charge. Sending Aiden right back into the ring. <laughs> David catching the smoke. Everyone saw his farmer tan and said, you look like a fucking animal. Oh, Jordan's really laying a fucking 10 hour shift down on the boys, making them work late tonight. <laughs> <laughs> making them work late tonight. Slapping up David Codd because he's in there running his mouth. Sick of David Codd, now fucking laying shingles and just yapping for the, full, the whole 10 hours. All I can hear him in there is he's yelling out call outs for Call of Duty. Sam Wise flaunting the biscuit on him, says this is Elvish Biscuit. Oh, we didn't need it. Frodo Baggins flying off the top ropes. I'm just watching out for the Dark Riders. <laughs> Eyes up here, he says, as he beats his ass with a fucking flip-flop. David Codd can't wait to kill one of these guys. Needs to get that KD up and wants to do it on everybody in the ring tonight. He probably will sleep if his KD gets under a 3.0, so he really needs to get this win.
Going for the big slam, proving that the, uh, getting the ring to Mount Doom is not going to be an easy task. Yeah, but again, so hot, all the odds. I think these two hobbits might be have what it takes to make it. It's not looking good here. It's looking like Frodo's going to put the ring on. Don't do it, Frodo. Keep the ring off your oh fucking hand. Don't find us. Looks like he snapped out of it. And he's going <laughs> to choke up <laughs> Jordan. <laughs> Just like he almost choked Sam out in the movie. <laughs> Jordan getting carried by this little guy. The crowd going wild, cheering for the Hobbits. Let's go Hobbits, I'm seeing there. Hobbitses, Hobbitses. These little Hobbitses are running around, prancing around. Sam Wise beating everyone's ass to save Mr. Frodo. I can't carry the ring, but I can carry you, Mr. Frodo. Slams sure fucking Jordan. Two. Being Jesus from Christ, Frodo! Have Things probably been through it all. <laughs> Looks like they're fighting over the last slice of elvish bread. <laughs> Jordan about to slam a beer. Oh, the best pro shop from David Cod. <laughs> and the onslaught begins. Frodo better take him out quick. David Cod really needs a little bit of honky tonk in his step now. You can hear it in his accent, but he needs to put it in his step, I think. <laughs> How does he have an accent? It's crazy, he's from Michigan. <laughs> You'd think he was from the South, the Deep South. <laughs> <laughs> Must be all that country music he constantly listens to. He's been hanging on Texas Steve too much in the backstage. <laughs> oh, a hobbit's been eliminated. Which one was it that looked the same? Jesus Christ, it's Frodo. Frodo Grimms! Oh, not Frodo Aiden! Frodo Aiden! Oh yeah, he doxed him. <laughs> oh, Grimms, Aiden, call him whatever you like. He goes by, he's a man of many names. Sam Wise doesn't know what to do. Mr. Frodo has left him now, and he's just sitting at the edge of a mountain crying. <laughs> well, it does seem like a Sam thing to do, and but he David just eliminated oh, David Jesus Kahn! Christ. He thought he that can Sam Kyle was Smeagol. He can still save the day for Frodo and him if he, he just defeats Jordan here. That's right, that's right. He can't carry the ring, but he can carry Mr. Frodo. Yeah, well, it looks like he just put in his two-week notice, and he's trying to get a moment to breathe inside the ring. Too bad. Jordan's going to throw up a 10-hour shift tonight, so he better be ready. <laughs> <laughs> well, he says, this is one of my last days working here, bitch, and slaps him outside the head Jeez, with a fucking flip-flop. With a flip-flop, fatality. Jordan's not having Jersey that shit. Josh. Flips and flops <laughs> around. Oh, but falls into the fountain too drunk at the bar, so I guess fucking Jordan's going to have to knock him out here tonight. That's right, Jordan taking fucking the victory crazy. on that one. Absolute animal. I couldn't believe it. Here is your win. Jordan comes into season three like a wrecking ball. He's a going for w, that belt. A W and a flip flop fatal four way means a lot here in this industry. That's so right. This, that's right. Ne next week we might see some big major moves made and alignments made here for Jordan. The fellowship couldn't stop him and neither can Worm because Jordan's coming for that fucking belt. Without further ado, this has been a great, massive night. We're appreciating all the support from everybody. We love everyone coming through and seeing seeing the hype for season three. But without further ado, we have Emily against our hero, <laughs> Donald you know, Tatra. Awesome. It would be awesome if we could get Emily to come lend a, a hand and talk to us, but she didn't want anything to do with this. She was so mad about this match that she wouldn't come ringside here tonight. That's right. She hates a lot of strong feelings here. Doesn't like the uh, Tesla truck. Doesn't like uh, the haircut. And really just wants to hang out with Kamala Harris in the back. Yeah, just seeing this guy and even just hearing this man's name can really throw Emily into a tizzy. <laughs> oh, well, Emily's bringing out her emo or outfit, too. <laughs> she's looking for blood. She just never wears this shit unless she's looking for blood or a hot date. Thank <laughs> you. 
I feel like I'm just losing brain cells here looking at Kamala Harris. <laughs> well, wait, if we all know everything, we know that net neutrality isn't going to save us tonight one fucking bit. Yeah, but Elon Musk might get to space. We'll never know. This is brought to you Maybe by Elon, who funded the whole thing. He says, hurry up and buy a fucking Tesla truck already. Yeah, Elon Musk is the funder of BDE. He's the reason we have so much endless money that we can just put into this federation. Oh, and there she is, Kamala Harris all the way in the back. <laughs> Oh, and there's Emily, and she's really showing it all here tonight because she's going to be doing a lot of show-offs <laughs> and show-boating. So you know that she's definitely going to be running this show here tonight. We're just glad she showed up a lot tonight. It's a whole uh, event around this competition here, and we're just glad uh, her whole family came together here to come to visit tonight and, and watch her compete. For uh, this entire whole competition. And here we stand up and salute. And his opponent from New York, weighing in at 228 pounds. Stand up and salute. I heard that uh, Elon was giving Donald Trump boxing lessons in the backstage before this match, so. <laughs> Donald's we, all warmed up and ready to beat Emily's ass. We just can't believe Elon came out shirtless again. That last time he was shirtless, that picture went around the internet like crazy, and here he is again. Well, he's just owning it now. That big belly and gut that he had was photoshopped, <laughs> as you can clearly see. Elon Musk is chiseled just like the form of that Tesla. The man's built like a truck. Tesla truck, that is. Oh, yeah, and you gotta, you got to put the emphasis on Tesla when you say it because he did fund our whole wrestling federation. <laughs> there he is, guys. He's ready to prove to America that he can take on one or two uh, non-believers. Yeah, he's fighting for all the cats and the dogs. And there she is, Emily, really looking to prove herself tonight. We're rooting for Emily, but we're also rooting for her opposition because it'll be funny to see her reaction. We see Emily could be here. Could be the greatest possible reaction that hey, she anyone the has ever race. seen. <laughs> <laughs> Emily here, getting tossed around by the former president. This is not looking good. She may have to uh, take this to court. You know, you wouldn't expect to see Trump here, just out in the open and ringside fighting after the last two assassination attempts against him. He just goes to show he's not afraid of uh, no good for nothing motherfuckers. You think Emily's a no good for nothing motherfucker? <laughs> I'm not. I'm just paraphrasing what Trump said. Oh, okay. Yeah, I don't believe Emily's that bad, but I know that bitch Kamala Harris is. Elon's looking off. Cross-eyed and zigzagged on the side. <laughs> <laughs> we'll cross those T's and dot those eyes, because Emily's coming in with a big fucking slam right there, boys. Well, she is a major BDE superstar, and she was a, once a championship holder. She's so showing a whole just lot of in. potential tonight, boys. Oh, yeah, she is. She's showing a whole lot of shit to Trump. <laughs> What is she jumping at? Elon, in disbelief, doesn't understand why she did that. Oh, Emily. Hey, Emily. She's beating the shit out of Trump right now. <laughs> I think we just heard Ryan in the background in the crowd somewhere. Hey, Emily. <laughs> <laughs> Donald, Donald Trump trying to work the mega magic. Oh my God! He's checking the poll count there. <laughs> <laughs> Just don't he doesn't call want it. Emily to use a mail-in ballot. That's right. If Donald Trump loses here, he did say they're definitely mailing in ballots. Emily crawling for her life, trying to get out of this position. Trump not letting her get away though. 
As he yeah, goes for another big like slam. Jesus Christ! He learned that from somebody earlier. Trump's always watching the better man out there do his thing so he can take moves and maneuvers from other people and use them for himself. Well, you better take some notes because Emily's bringing the fucking SmackDown, beating Trump's ass right now. We're going to see if Trump can turn it around here. Emily on the top ropes, high flying, jumping down. Oh, Emily reversing down Trump's grasp. Andrew taking so many notes on food, missing the absolute onslaught that Emily's bringing to Donald J. Trump. Kamala Harris, happy to see this. You can see her in the background slithering her snake tongue. Yeah, she said something about a coconut tree, and I didn't really get what she was saying or the metaphor. <laughs> but to me, it sounded crazy. But we do know she is part Lilith, so we'll see what she does out here with her demonic powers. And Trump, Trump fighting for good. Elon Musk talking a lot of shit to Emily right now. Jesus Christ, Emily could not hold it back. Hates the shit talk. Experience. Completely. Oh, you know my day's shit. What are you saying that for, Ryan? <laughs> Elon distracted her long enough for Trump to take the turn. What a five head idea. They don't call him Elon Musk for nothing. Kamala Harris unsure what to do out there. She's definitely not going to take an interview after the show. That's for damn sure. You know that. <laughs> <laughs> and it looks like Emily's going for the pin already, but Donald Trump can't take this fight laying down. It's all right. He looks fine. He looks like he's not worried. Hoping that that uh, collab with Aiden Ross goes. I mean, oh shit. <laughs> Emily's got a lot of aggression here. She's taken out on Donald Trump. It's been pent up for years. Men's to say Bob Ross, chat. Sorry about that. Don't worry about it. Elon, again, he must be saying some real dirty, nasty shit about Emily. He used the wrong choice of words and now Emily's pissed. <laughs> if Emily would just realize that he's buying her Donald Trump time. Emily's not having it though. He's giving him the boot. Dig his foot right into that guy's neck. Former president is not looking good here, but he switches it up and reverses it. Hits Emily with the Trump Tower. Oh my God! Jesus Christ! Just, he just vetoed Emily's life. He's going for the pin. Can Emily get out of it? Jesus! Oh my God! Elon if she would have lost mortified. right there, we would have got an earful out of it. Oh my God! The only crop in the Australian zoo to ever get the bet out of me. <laughs> there is no video. Don't ask what the fuck that was because it doesn't exist. No video. Nobody's ever seen a video. It's no never one's ever heard of it. It doesn't exist. Doesn't exist. Fake news. Fake news. <laughs> Donald Trump with the Trump Towers again! Oh my god! It's not looking good for Emily. She's taking big blows out there. Oh and my not god. showing Triple a whole Trump lot towers. of potential. Her whole showing right now, I can tell you that. <laughs> oh! It's a big <laughs> Oh my god, I'm dead. <laughs> There's no fucking way. She breaks out. Oh my god. Donald Trump's spreading it wide open there. Check out our little ring covers. You can see Big Dipper sleeping on the ground in the in the ring covers. Donald Trump top ropes. Oh my god. He's looking real good in the polls right now. Oh, he's making America great again. Emily kicks out. She just will not vote for Trump. This no matter too close. what she far, will do, far too close. she will not vote for Trump. 
She has to get it together. She has to pull something together right now. And she cannot look for Kamala Harris for guidance because we know that Kamala has no idea what the fuck she's talking about. As you can see, Elon Musk been verbal a lot on the side of the ring, speaking out about why he wants President Trump to win. And Kamala Harris has kept her mouth shut the whole match. No support for Emily, but Emily full support for Kamala. Can she Kamala's turn just around here? With the crowd. She's arguing with the crowd telling everyone to cheer right now. She's threatening to take away people's rights if they don't cheer for Emily. <laughs> Kamala really intimidated by Donald Trump there, but Donald Trump's not looking too good out there as he gets his ass beat by Emily. He is. 70 year old man in the ring with a BDE superstar. All right, give him a break if I were you. Well, Donald Trump's certainly not going to give anybody a break as he goes and gives Emily a break right on the fucking rope right there. He gave broke her fucking face. Trump's showing a lot of potential here. This is definitely goes above and beyond anything he does golf wise. So. You know that you can handle a lot of pressure. <laughs> <laughs> there it is. Giving her the nine iron. Jesus. Emily's not looking good after that one. Barely crossed to the rope. He just showed Emily a picture of her own house. On a... <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> Didn't you ever see where he sent the president of Iran a picture of his own house threatening him? <laughs> 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 no, see, that's funny as fuck. Um, yeah, I guess you'd have to know that to get that, but fucking... He's a savage. He was a savage. Not savage enough to get out of this pin that Emily's going for. Can Trump kick out of it? Emily's really Emily showing Just her... giving that evil glare on the sidelines. Couldn't even stand Staring next to him. right into Trump's soul. Emily with the they catches her like a fucking baseball mitten. Slams Emily under the ground. Jesus Christ, Emily's not looking good, but she recovers quickly and brings it right back. Emily's looking to put the tin foil head on Trump, but Trump just won't let her do it. And a lot of Says fucking doesn't believe in that fucking malarkey. A lot of tug of war here going on. It seems like it's all winding down to two people hurt on the ground, but it looks like one of them's getting up and going for the pin. At this point, Emily should probably just drop out like Joe Biden and let Trump win this one. Oh my God, a big bomb. Not looking good. Ropes. It's not looking good oh for Emily. Jesus Christ. I pledge allegiance to the United States of America. Here the only croc in the Australian zoo to ever get the better of me. <laughs> <laughs> the Ryan version. <laughs> Donald Trump with the W here. Looks yes. like Emily's just got to vote for Believe him. Believe in me, he says. I wonder how many people he converted over to himself to him now. You know, this has to be a big match. It looks like a few people in the crowd still throwing thumbs downs, but, you know, there's always a few uh, bad apples in the bunch. Did I just notice your mouse? Jam! Why is that Dragging okay? What's Emily! Going on? Dragging Emily on the <laughs> ground! Parading Emily's body on the ground! That's crazy! <laughs> Emily unconsciously just getting dragged around by Donald Trump's ankles. <laughs> She's what? not worshipping the man. <laughs> <laughs> what a mistreatment. But it's not over yet, boys. As we wind down to our final match of the night, Stoise versus Worm for the championship belt. Oh, yeah. This is a big one here. I can tell you that. Now, this is this is crazy because he's jumped straight to the uh, the belt match. This is the first time ever in BDE history that this has ever happened, but Stoise says it's rare, fella, and that he's going to pull it off. Yeah, and I think Stoise can go against all odds and do whatever the fuck he pleases. He proves it to us every single time he makes a TikTok or a new song. That's right, that's right. He does prove it to us every single time. And Worm, though, he's been the biggest superstar at BDE. I don't know if Stoise is going to be able to just walk in, 
and take it from him, but if anybody has the alien futuristic powers to do such a thing, it definitely is the man Stoisey himself. And there it is, everyone. A little endless digital footprint. Stoisey plans to set that in motion here as he increases his digital footprint. Well, you better be skedaddling out there, my fella, because Worm's going to do everything it takes to hold on to that title. There it is, guys. You see Stoisey here proving that he can do whatever it takes to be the best. And now coming out there into the ring is. to show that he can do what it takes to be the best in BDE wrestling. That big dick fella coming out to the ring here. Looking snazzy, he's always got some crazy swag going. Definitely based as fuck. But will he be based enough to win the match and defeat Worm for the belt tonight? This is definitely our I biggest think, matchup tonight, guys. I think if anybody can just walk up in here and has a chance to do it, it would be Stoisey, but I do also know Worm is a fighter. And like I said, he's not gonna let that thing go easy. So I think the table could break either way. There he is, look, he's looking crazy, he's doing the moves. Yeah, he does look so funky, so fresh, so elegant out there in the ring. He's ready for it, guys, he's ready for it, guys. Now here's his opposition, he the champion of BDE. The biggest name in the building. Somehow he can fly, we don't know how he's doing that. Elon must have must invented some, some shit. Kind of it must be some kind of star link or maybe some power from that ring the hobbits are carrying around. <laughs> he might just be Sauron. <laughs> Hippie wizard might have blessed that belt with something special. Who knows? But Worm is making his way out here. You know, he's the best disc golfer in Michigan. But I don't know if those disc golfing skills are going to help him out here in the ring tonight. Well, we sure as hell know that he brings the heat when he comes out to the ring. He's a championship belt holder, and that takes a lot. There's some big names out here tonight. Yeah, I think that Stoisey, you know, he could put the beat down on Worm. But even if Worm retains the title here against him, that he's going to have a lot of superstars coming at his neck who are trying to make names for themselves here on Season 3. Making his way to the ring now. He's flaunting it. He definitely knows that he's hot shit. Might even send somebody a dick pic. Who knows? Yeah, well, hopefully it's just his girlfriend because Worm's been just on a steady uh, incline on being a faithful husband. That's good to hear, but not good to hear because this is a big dick energy wrestling match. And you know, our superstars have the biggest dicks in the industry. And when I say our superstars, I mean all of them. Because they're all men. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Uh, no showing a whole lot of uh, small dicks around here. <laughs> big dicks only. <laughs> With the Big Dick Championship. Big Dick Energy Championship there. Beautiful belt. From Birmingham, England. Weighing in at Birmingham, England. <laughs> The Cyborg Witch. There he is. The Cyborg so Witch. Who told him to From say Michigan, that shit? Weighing in at 222 pounds. He just knew. The non-stop super deep south martial arts heavyweight pro wrestling champion, The the worm the crowd goes wild when they hear him he's a big shot around here boys oh yeah he's been holding that belt pretty much all last season when he took it from trevor day one and i mean emily had it at one point and then gave it to andrew tate and it worked its way back into the hands of worm stories he loves the way that thing looks it looks funky he says my fella definitely wants to get his hands on that for his next music video <laughs> Stoisey ready to get out of here and start writing some more music. He's just pumping that shit out. Damn, and he starts it out big, looking for the victory off rip. Just dropped a beat pack right on Worm's face. 
He says, not looking good for our champion. Let me show you how it's done, fella, he said. He said, you're a big dick, my fella, and Worm got distracted. Now, we do hear that he has met up with uh, with one of our other contestants, Otis, and they're looking to get into the ring together. We don't know as friends or foes, but they definitely know each other. <laughs> yeah, they've heard of each other. They're both big British names. Household names in Britain, we hear. Everybody knows Stoisy and Otis over there in the UK. Oh, uh, Stoisy <laughs> flopping on the ground, missed his target. What are you doing, buddy? <laughs> there ain't no We're fucking taking way. advantage of the count out out here. Getting Irish whipped to the ground. It's not looking good. Stoisy's whooping his fucking ass tonight. Worm's not looking so hot out here. He's not as good as he was last season so far. Definitely Maybe fun. he might be off of Blue Chew. <laughs> it's not looking good for Worm. The clock is counting down. He has to get up right now. Stoisy, tell you everyone take... there. Oh, oh Stoisy! It's going Stoisy's to be back I can't here believe the it. Up to his advantage. Oh, bringing Worm back in the ring. He doesn't want to win it that way, I guess. Looks like he's looking he's to win it fair and square. Fella. Worm not going to let it happen so easily. Yeah, he needs to make a big turnaround here. He's taking a lot of blows. And he, Stoisy has really proven to Worm that he has what it takes to whoop his ass. So Worm's oh got to figure God, it out. Worm. Dropping a 30 rack of Bush Light on Stoisy. Worm definitely taking that GERD comment personally. He heard Stoisy talking about his GERD behind the uh, scenes tonight. Oh, wow. Stoisy would never do such a thing. I could never believe that. But if Worm believes it, I guess it has to be true. Well, it was Charlotte who told him that. So who the fuck knows? And Charlotte is always the problem. Always starting rumors. Always begging. Always talking some smack. Speaking of smack, here's Stoisy giving him a big smack. Turning it around looks and like, trying to put Worm in the grave. Looks like Stoisy might want to hit him with a couple of tea and crumpets, but Worm reverses it and gives him a big elbow to the face. Worm bringing the beat down, not letting it slide this time around. Worm trying to end it quick. He wants to hold on to that championship belt as long as that he can. That's right. Stoisy definitely shook him on that first couple minutes of the match. And Worm needs to get some kind of ground around here to figure it all out. Worm just needs a couple practice runs to get locked in. And now he's going to send him off to where he belongs. Raging Gaming, that is an ESCO shirt from his roofing co company. Worm does a lot of roofing. Yeah, he's dropping him like he drops that tear off bar. Oh my God, Stoisy's bleeding! It's not looking good for Stoisy. Stoisy needs to figure something out right now, and music is not going to save him out here. We're going to need to get the ambulance here down by ringside because Stoisy's a celebrity. Normally, we wouldn't do that. The for crowd's our calling for the 619. The crowd's calling for the 619. Oh my god, the music leg drop. <laughs> he dropped the beat pack, and he's gonna about to drop a victory, but Worm wiggles out in time. What up, little Ewoks? What up, Raising Gaming? The big counter smack up. Worm giving him the beat down. Stoisy taking always it. He's trying to keep it positive, but he's going to have to get aggressive in here in the ring tonight. He might not get the chance as Worm goes for the pin, barely making it out. Stoisy has to figure something out, and now it's getting real balanced out in here. Yeah, Worm is cooking up. Worm's heating up like he always does. He's always like a fire. It starts off slow and burns hot. He's definitely taking it to another level here. Heating up. Uh, tension's building. Everyone's holding their breath, waiting for the, what's going to happen next. We don't know what's what's to expect. Everyone's a... Stoisy and Worm are big contenders here. It's a big slam comes out from Stoisy. Stoisy's not letting up right now. The onslaught is not over as he goes for the pin. Worm has to figure some shit out right star. now. Looking good out there. Worm kicks out. 
barely crawling away. Worm's got to figure something out. The crowd's Crowd cheering for him. Crazy. They want Worm. Worm forever. Stoisy trying to end his streak as champion. And that's why he's trying Worm to. Worm curling Stoisy up. Could this oh, be sneakily. it? Could this be it? Oh my God! It's getting Stoisy close. Stoisy kicks out. They've got to figure something out quick. One of these contestants is going to go down. Hopefully Stoisy can hit him with enough blabber talk out there to end it. And a big slam a from Worm and going oh for the pin. God. Stoisy has to recover quick. This is not looking good. Worm just hit an ace on Stoisy and Stoisy still kicked out. Yeah, we realize the uh, referee doesn't speak English, so we don't even bother. We just go with whatever the fuck she says. I could have swore that was three for Worm, but the referee's <laughs> a little slower than I would count it. <laughs> she must be a big Worm fan. Worm's getting up on the top ropes. Oh, and my God! A slam. Jesus, Stoisy's feeling it. He's bleeding. Please, someone get Stoisy out of there. It's not looking good. We've never Poor seen our fella Stoisy. like this. Our fella's looking down bad. And a big slam on his face. Come on, get Stoisy out of there. The alien babe starts rolling out of the ring. Worm meeting him out there. Oh, a face plant. We know Worm does this. We know he conserves his energy. Oh my God. He'll take a few beatings, but then he'll come. At the, uh, he'll get it together and he'll start coming up as the uh, all, opposition runs out of energy. With all those bush lights in his system, he can take a couple beatings and not even feel it. He's a pure animal out there. I know we said he might, be, he might have stopped, but I think he's still on like four blue cheese. You can tell he's bricked up out there the way he's running around. Definitely looking real stiff out there. Doisy hitting him back here. The count's getting high. As the superstars look like they're heading back into the ring. To avoid <laughs> they, the count they ran to that shit. Oh, referee, getting the fuck out of there before she catches us on the smoke. Oh, but Worm wants to take it right back out. Maybe not. Oh, my God. And a big a slam on Stoisy. 30-30. 30 30. <laughs> Stoisy not having it this time. Sick of everyone fucking up his, his vibe. No, I think the only way. Oh my god, what reverses it? Oh my god, another ace! This is not looking good for Stoisy. He has to figure it out. No, that boy Stoisy loses it. Over. The, it looks like the reigning champ still remains the reigning champ of BDE Wrestling. Worm is unstoppable. He proves it every time. Time in and time out. We cannot believe it, guys. What a wind up and what a wind down to the biggest event. BDE Wrestling Season 3. That's it right there. We see that our champion, Worm, stays the champion. We saw a lot of big names make names for themselves. And we saw the crowd go wild once again for the third time this year. It was a very beautiful matchup. You know, Worm might not have won the Disc Golf World Championship, but he definitely won the heart of all the fans here tonight. That's right. We're big fans now. We love Worm for everything he does, and we're sorry he didn't win, but we're glad that he proved himself tonight here at BDE Wrestling. Thank you everyone for coming out. If you guys are not following, stay tuned because we do BDE for like at least a week. Yeah, we'll keep this up for you guys. We'll get it going. I don't know if we'll do it every day, maybe every other day or we'll something. We'll figure something and, out. I don't know. We'll well, that figure was it BDE out. Wrestling. Hope you all enjoyed yourselves. Stay tuned for another episode here at BDE Season 3. Hell yeah biggest dicks in the industry if you would just look at it there you go dude beautiful Very absolutely beautiful. beautiful absolutely beautiful greatest show ever made we always bring it bring it full power dude what was Stoisy doing, bro? 
He had he had him on the ropes outside at eight seconds, and then he decided to back up and go back into the ring. Can't believe I it. Know. So he's just he's a true to... spirit. True spirit. That's just who he is as a person. He would do that in real life too, dude. I mean, you couldn't believe it. All right, everybody, have a good night. Thank you for coming out. We appreciate the viewers.